Hi, my name's Steve, welcome back to the channel, working on the house. And in this episode I follow on from last episode where I finally finish off the decking to the elevated deck to the rear of the property. I'm starting to prepare the balustrade going around the, the rear and predominantly for stainless steel, very very expensive and I haven't got that kind of budget to do it. And I faced a similar dilemma when I came to do the car park at the front. Um, basically where we are, we're in a sort of downward elevation position from the pavement, so there are a lot of pedestrians um, walking past and basically looking into the lounge, so we wanted to increase the privacy. So we increased the privacy by installing these glazed panels. And I'll show you. And the way I've done it is I've basically used galvanised tube with a standard off the shelf bracket. Uh, I'm trying to remember what they're called now. There's the key clamps is one of the brands. I can't remember what brand these are, but they're very, very cheap and very, very flexible. All sorts of designs are available. And it's just a really cheap way of doing it. I think the total cost of this for the framework was about £400 altogether. And that was delivered. Um, obviously the main expense was the, the glazed panels, which I think at the time was about £1,500. And then these specialist bolts. Uh, which I can't remember how much they did cost, but I, I think that was close to four or five hundred pounds just for the bolts. Um, but I'm really pleased, and obviously it costs an awful lot less than um, what it would have been to have got a firm in to do it. But that was in the running into the thousands, where we didn't have the budget for that. And I'm really pleased with the effect. It's um, stood the test of time really well, and it has actually given us that much needed privacy. make sure that I put all the fittings on the outside so the more attractive finishes on the inside. Cool. Okay, this is probably where my complete lack of knowledge and experience comes in, but the way I've decided to do it is I 
I'm, uh, I've slipped this pole right up and so it is in contact with this plane on uh, the vertical. Go over to the other side and I've done exactly the same on that one here. So the fun is I'm going to cut them both so they're identical lengths. So I'm going to take a, a measurement between these two points, work at the halfway mark, and then cut that off each one. So each pole would be identical in length. That way, when I put the, the centre line one in, that will be bang in the middle. And then <clears throat> the remainder, I show you, dissect and create probably not sure what sort of size that is okay 3.1 so I'll have to check and uh, see whether I can get the glass panels I don't think they'll be able to do the 1.5 I think that would be too big so I'll probably have to dissect that into um, into three panels at a metre wide, roughly. But anyway, let's get the centre one in first. Um, and I can uh, basically fine tune.
shame to be inside today because it's a little bit warm outside. It's actually nice and dry and the sun's out, it's quite warm. It's a little shame that uh, I've got to be doing this inside, but never mind. So here's brackets that I got from eBay. Um, these weren't really as readily available when I did the frames at the front, um, but they are now and they're cheap as chips. So as you can see, it's come from China. It's not particularly well made, but from a distance, it looks perfectly acceptable. I'm not sure how good the quality of the stainless steel is either, but I think that goes quite well. Oops, can't see it. I think that goes quite well with the, the galvanised. Doesn't stand out too bad. And basically, there's a mounting hole through there, and all I'm going to do is drill through the pipe. And the wall thickness is suitable to accept a tap, so I can tap a thread, so I can just bolt these directly to. And um, yeah, let's uh, let's start marking it out. Okay, so after a bit of fiddling around, what I've decided on for the measurements is I'm going to have the bracket centered on. 200 mil and then the the glass will be at say yeah 150 which will give a 50 mil gap at the bottom plus the thickness of the flange slightly different at the top so I'm going to go 250 to the um, center of the bracket 100 mil above the bracket for the glass height, then leaving 150 from the top of the glass to the centre line of the pole. It gives a nice generous gap at the top, which is sort of the aesthetic that I was going to go for. Okay, so it's a bit Heath Robinson, but all I've done is I'm holding it in the drill press chuck or vice, I guess I call it. It's not actually big enough to clamp it properly, but by just doing it very, very loosely, that's sort of sitting in there quite snug. And then all I've done is I've put the end over my other work trestles, I've packed it out slightly, and then for the finite adjustment, I've adjusted the bed. So, the pole is now set nice and level. So, when I come to drill the holes, it'll be perpendicular and square. Um, well, good enough for this anyway. So I'll start marking them up now. A um, couple of other things to note as well is, if you can look inside the tube, that's actually a weld where they um, to join the weld together, so I'm guessing it's a flat piece that they then curl around and then seam weld. So what I want to make sure is that I don't drill through that seam um, because that will probably be a little bit harder, a little bit thicker and a little bit more or less predictable when I come to drill and um, cut the threads. So what I'll make, do, what I'll make sure I do um, is that I ensure that is facing at the bottom the whole time when I mark out, so I want to actually do the holes there in the side perpendicular to that. I think that's clear. Um, the other thing is I've worked out a way, I think, or well, the best way to measure the centre of the bar is I've taken a measurement. Let's use the dodgy camera right. It's basically um, 41mm in diameter. So I don't know if you remember these window pack as I've mentioned before. I've basically chosen um, three at five mil and one at six mil to give me the 21 millimeters, which is half of the diameter of the tube. And then I can use that like so to then mark a line on the side of the tube. like so and then that will hopefully 
be bang in the center or at least consistent anyway okay so I experimented with a few different um, sizes I just bought them they're all cheap anyway uh, so I bought some M8 which are hex out uh, M6s and M5 little pan head so I soon discovered that in the supplier where I go I couldn't get pan head in M8 and sure enough I really do need to have pan head screws to fit into the fixing bracket as you can see M8 is the right size most suitable for the bracket but the head doesn't really suit like a hex bolt so I just had another look on on the website and I can actually get a, a pan head with a with a hex fitting which I think would be a far more suitable that's also going to be stainless steel so it's going to be less likely to rust so that's, that's a good thing so I'll be able to tap the threads and check the fit with these but I won't actually be able to mount them all up today but yeah say that be so true to myself as well nice new complete set of drill bits uh, cobalt drill bits they're only cheap eBay special ones but um, let's see how I get on so I needed all the half sizes um, the set that I've got several have blunt and or snapped over the years so I really needed to have all the half sizes because I didn't know what size I was going to um, drill sorry what size bolts I was going to use for the taps etc not making any sense let's try it again because I didn't know what bolt sizes I was going to use I didn't know what size drill bit I'd need and it turns out it's much cheaper just to buy a complete set anyway a little cheaper set if it's no good I just bin it and just keep the common sizes that I want or use this one to complete my other set where half of them have snapped right so because I've finally decided on M8, I need to look up the size for M8 for drilling. So just have a quick Google. So it's a 7.1 meter, meter, 7.1 millimeter drill bit for an M8. So another new tool I've purchased. I bought this a while back when I bought the um, the drill press for this job in mind. Yeah, automatic center punch, I think it's called. And this is the, the center punch that you don't need to use a hammer. You place it exactly where you want it. And I'm guessing that's like a cam type action. Cool. And it creates a nice precise Center punch mark.
So I went shopping during the week and I managed to get myself some more suitable bolts. I've gone for a button head with a hex fitting and these fit snugly inside the bracket and will actually allow me to put the tool in to fasten them up. Um, being stainless steel that should prevent them from rusting because we live quite close to the sea where we are uh, which is obviously it's quite a harsh environment with the salt and everything else so that should hopefully prevent it from rusting. Uh, probably a little bit overkill but I'm going to put them in with a little bit of grease as well because obviously where I've tapped the threads into the tubes the tubes itself are already mild steel but, I mean they are galvanized but obviously mild steel is exposed once uh, you start drilling and cutting through it so slight overkill but hey for the sake of an extra few minutes of work I think it's worthwhile
that's kind of the design. All of the other stanchions are going to have an equal gap, so all glass panels will be the same, the same size, bar the very last one, which unfortunately I'm going to have to make slightly smaller. But that's fine. I'll make it as big as I can. Um, and bearing in mind, there's cladding to go on here, so I don't know how thick the battens are when I do that. Obviously, the cladding itself that gives me plenty of room without having to worry about that. So, there we go. Now I've got that centre section in, what I need to do is I need to plumb up the centre stanchion and then mark the horizontal pole, the middle of it, and then I can cut that and then I can um, cut the other pole to suit as well when I've made that stanchion over there vertical. Right, let's crack on because it looks like it's going to rain soon. <laughs> 